In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate sector area. Now, let me quickly explain. We know that if you have a circle and you want to calculate the area, then we use pi radius squared. Okay, that's if you have a normal circle. Now, what if I only give you a part of the circle? What if I only give you that? Whoops, that was awkward. What if I only give you that? Then to be able to calculate this area, then you would need to know what fraction of the whole circle is that little piece. And that's what we're gonna look at in this, this, this lesson. It's really easy. You can, use, you can do this using radians or degrees. It's not the same as the previous lesson where we spoke about arc length, which only works with radians. So let's do our first example and you can start realizing or seeing how this works. So. I'm going to make this really easy for you. I'm going to break it down. I'm not going to give you any fancy formulas. I want to make you understand this. So let's forget about this. Let's just say that the radius is four centimeters. Okay, so we have a circle and the radius is four. Okay, so if you had to go work out the area, you would say pi radius squared. And you would say pi, then the radius is four, and you would square that, and that would give you 16 pi. So that is the area of this whole, this whole um, circle. Okay, but we don't have a whole circle. We only have 60 degrees. So we only have that. Now we know that a whole circle is 360. Okay, all the way around 360. So what we can then realize is that the fraction that we have, the fraction that we have is then going to be 60 divided by 360, which is 1 over 6. So we only have a sixth one-sixth of the whole circle. So that means we need to multiply this by one-sixth, which is the same as dividing it by six, and that will give us the area of this little piece that we actually have, which is just that, okay? And so if you had to go work this out, it's gonna give us eight over three pi. If you would like decimals, it's about eight comma three eight centimeters squared. Squared because it's area, okay? So, if we wanted to use a formula then, we could say area is equal to, so area of a sector. Let's say area of the sector. We could say pi r squared, which is for the full circle. And then you could multiply that by, now you see how we got one over six? How did we actually get that? We got that by saying 60 over 360, which is what we did here. So what is the 60? It's the central angle. And then the 360, that's always going to be 360 if we're working in degrees. And then if we are busy with radians, so this one here was for degrees. If you're busy with radians, then you would rather do this. You'd go pi r squared multiplied by your central angle uh, over 2 pi. Because a full circle is 2 pi radians, right? If you go all the way around for a circle, it's 2 pi. So these are the formulas that we could use. So here's our next angle, a uh, question. So this one's measured in radians. So you could say pi r squared multiplied by your central angle divided by two pi. And so what actually happens is that the pi's cancel. So we actually, I mean, you don't have to do that, but you actually just end up with a formula that looks like that. I don't know, maybe some of you, some of you have a teacher that's done that. Um, but now it's just uh, easy to go for in. So two centimeters squared multiplied by the central angle, which is pi over three divided by two. And so if you had to go work this all out, you should end up with two pi over three. Here's another one. So this one's in degrees. So to find the area of our sector, you would take a normal circle and then you'd multiply that by um, your, your, your theta over, remember it's over, over 360. So that's gonna be pi, the radius is three, the angle is 100 over 360. Go ahead, type that all in and you end up with five over two pi, or if you'd like to round that in decimal, 7.85 centimeters squared. Here's the last example. This one's measured in radians. So the radian formula was pi r squared multiplied by theta over two pi. Now, if you wanted to, you could cancel these pi's out. You don't have to though. And for this one, I'm actually not going to. Um, why? Because I'm cool like that. <laughs> and so uh, the radius is 10. The central angle is five over three pi, and then this is two pi. And if you had to go type all of that in on the calculator, it's gonna give you 250 over three pi, which is approximately uh, 
centimeters squared. Squared because we're busy with area.